Hey guys, Composer84 here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install an M2 drive. These are the new small solid state drives that are incredibly fast and really cool. So these M2 drives are very small. They're roughly the size of a stick of RAM. They're very thin. You can see here how tiny they really are. Make sure you get your proper ESD precautions with a bracelet and a screwdriver if you have one. So most recent motherboards have one or two M2 slots. If you've got two of them, you want to figure out which one is ideal. So you're going to want to check your motherboard manual, and if you don't have it, you can usually find it on a PDF on a manufacturer's webpage. So what you do is, you check to find your optimum setting based on the number of hard drives. For me, I have a lot of hard drives, so I needed to use the one that's highlighted, as you can see here, in order to optimize my settings. You can use two M2 drives at once, but you could theoretically be slowing one of them down depending on how your slots work. But again, check your manual. So once you've picked your slot, remove the screw with a Phillips head screwdriver, gently setting aside the small screw, and then you'll be ready to install the M2 drive. So you wanna insert the drive at a 30 degree angle and gently slide it in. For me, I had to wiggle it ever so slightly just to get it past the friction of the connector, and then it will be sitting, hanging off the motherboard a little bit and then I'll show you how to remove it. You just, you know, same thing, pull it out gently. And again, this thing is always gonna sit at 30 degrees until you screw it down. So the thing actually has a little bit of a spring to it, I'll show you right here, so you can kind of push it down. So when you screw it down, it's gonna be flat against the motherboard. So now you need to gently push down the drive with the screw and slowly tighten it into the motherboard. It doesn't take much force to do this. I was doing it with just like a couple fingers very gently. So that's really it. You'll want it to be flat, the screw to be lightly tightened, and the, the uh, M2 drive will no longer spring around. Success! So that's all there really is to it. It's as easy as installing a regular hard drive. You just find the right slot on your motherboard. Again, if you don't know where it is by eye, check your motherboard manual. You really should check this thing regardless. Find the right slot. You know, pop off the screw, slide the drive in, and screw the back on. And then you may need to tweak a couple settings in your BIOS to turn it on. So these M2 drives are really cool. I highly recommend them. You know, Black Friday's coming up. You might want to pick it up when it's on sale because the performance is insane. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make videos about guns, gaming, and gadgets. Take a look around my channel, subscribe if you enjoy it, and I hope I see you next time.